Okay, he's back. Uh, and today, as we continue our pursuit of hidden gems of cinema, we're going to look at a number of the best spy films you've never seen. And we're going to almost start with uh, a World War II story uh, and then move on up as we go through these. Uh, the first film is Orders to Kill that was made in 1958. Uh, starring uh, Eddie Albert, Lillian Gish, Paul Massey, uh, and James Robertson Justice. The plot's quite simple. An American soldier, pilot, uh, who's been grounded, uh, transfers over uh, to the Secret Service, the OSS, and is trained goes through training to assassinate a traitor in the French Resistance. The film was directed by Anthony Asquith, a British director of note. As a matter of fact, within a couple of years of this, he would be directing major Hollywood films, uh, which was a peak only reached by a couple of others, uh, other British directors of the period, um, he would be directing films for like War uh, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, uh, ask with uh, along with David Lean, of course, who would go on to direct uh, Lawrence of Arabia, uh, Carol Reed, who would direct big budget films like Oliver. Uh, Asquith was the the son actually of H uh, H Asquith who had been uh, Prime Minister of Great Britain uh, from 1908 to 1916. The film was written by Paul Dean. Uh, Dean was a very interesting character who had a particular insight into the subject matter uh, that the film is, is, is based on or deals with. Uh, Dean had originally started out as a movie reviewer in Britain in the 1930s. He then wrote some plays, some musicals. Uh, his first screenplay really was written in 1950. It was called Seven Days to Noon, which is a classic thriller uh, for which he won the Academy Award. Uh, he later wrote films like uh, Murder on the Orient Express, uh, Goldfinger, uh, The Deadly Affair, uh, the Spy Who Came In From The Cold, uh, Night of the Generals. But the interesting thing about Dan also is that during the Second World War, Dan was one of the chief instructors at what was called Camp X. Camp X was where was was built in Toronto, in Canada, a site there, and was where the Special Operations Executive of the British military, uh, trained their commandos. And Paul Den was not only one of the chief instructors there, he wrote the manual that they used for training. Um, as I said, the film deals with uh, the character, the central character, the pilot, who's being trained to assassinate uh, this French resistance Individual, this guy within the French, uh, the French resistance, and um, as he got, as the Massey character goes through the training, he begins to doubt the validity of what he's doing, and so the film itself deals with the normal, average elements that you would find. It's, it's very stark. It's an atmospherically photographed film, much like uh, The Third Man. Uh, it's very gritty. Its tone is... is actually, it has a, a tone of doom about it. Uh, but that adds to the suspense and the realism of the film, of the film itself. It's a, it is a really good, edge-of-the-seat, traditional thriller... Uh, but it deals on a higher plane. You've got a character now who's dealing as he gets to know the central character, as he gets to know the French resistance man he's supposed to kill, begins to doubt whether or not he is 
a traitor and whether he deserves to die. So you have that question of conscience and morality versus in a time of war following your orders which conflict directly with his this character's basic humanity. So it takes it to a different level. Eddie Albert plays the handler who's in charge of training the guy and is excellent. He, he brings a really excellent quality to that, a, real, a realistic quality to it. Massey is exceedingly good playing the conflicted character. Irene Worth, a British actress, plays a uh, his Massey's French resistance contact uh, who is presumed, who's upset and distraught over the death of her son at the hands of the Nazis. So she's pursuing a her own particular course of revenge, which plays contrary to everything going on. Uh, nicely done film. Excellently ex executed. Excellently acted. But as I said, it's a hidden gem. It's rare. The, Brit, the Brits right now, are in England, you, they have a new DVD out of it. It plays occasionally on channels like Turner Classic Movies. So if you get a chance, you need to watch Orders to Kill uh, and let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if, you've, if you have seen it, if you agree with what I say, uh, ask questions, discussion points. Uh, I appreciate your... Uh, listening to this, and we'll discuss the next film in this best film, spy films you've never seen, uh, later. And I do appreciate everything, and thank you.